Hi, welcome to Lab Module 7 of the Azure Data Factory Hands-On Lab. In this lab module, we'll be covering how to schedule your Azure Data Factory pipelines using a trigger. Azure Data Factory supports both scheduled triggers and tumbling window triggers. Scheduled triggers allow you to set a recurrence, such as daily, hourly, minutes, etc., as well as an end date. If you're familiar with SQL Server agent jobs, the setup is actually very similar. Tumbling window triggers are similar to the time slices in older versions of Azure Data Factory and allow for fixed time intervals and keeping of state. Let's discuss what we'll need before completing the tasks in this lab module. First, you'll need an active Azure subscription with rights to use and deploy Azure services. You'll also need the Azure Data Factory recreated in Lab Module 1. You'll need to have created a pipeline, ideally from the previous lab modules, so that we can schedule our master pipeline that is loading our data warehouse. But you can follow along with scheduling your pipeline with any pipeline that you created. In this lab module, we will be renaming our master pipeline we have been working on since lab module 3. This rename will fall in line with the master workflow that it is performing. We will then create a scheduled daily trigger to kick off our pipeline at the configured time. We'll also show how when you create a trigger, you can also specify parameters. This allows you to control at the trigger level your pipeline parameters. In Lab Module 3, we configured a parameter on who the email goes to when the file copy succeeds or fails. And in the trigger, you can specify that email address. You can imagine this, you can imagine that this gives you great flexibility. And one use case for even this one parameter could be different emails for different environments. Say if you had a resource group set up for development, test, and production, each could have their own set of parameters for the sources and syncs, as well as the email addresses for the appropriate contact for each region. At the end of this lab module, you should be familiar with how to set up and schedule a trigger to run a pipeline. In our next lab module, module eight, we'll be going over how you can monitor your pipeline runs, including history. Hope to see you in module eight, thanks.